Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sadie's 912, hitting y'all from my uh, hospital bed. <laughs> okay, so this is the room um, that I am in. So today I am 35 weeks and 6 days. So, as I suspected, I was not going to make it until my due date. Um, so, my water broke at 12.15. Um, today is December the 2nd. Went to my chiropractor yesterday. And she was just like, oh yeah, she's low. And I was like, yeah, I know. Um, just based off of how I had been feeling, I knew that she was going to come early. So, I just got um, a pen, some penicillin in my IV. I um, got the steroid shot in my hip, well, in my butt, <laughs> um, to go ahead because of the fact that I am going to, into preterm labor. And um, because I had aid at like seven something, um, they said they couldn't do my C-section before four o'clock, 4 a.m. So they said the next changeover shift is at 7 a.m. So I should be rolling back a little bit after seven. So yeah, baby Evelyn is on her way. Um, and right now, my belly and there's the monitor over there monitoring her and everything like that so um my vein over here was pretty strong for the IV and end up uh she said it got blow out or whatever because it was so much blood um so we had to use this hand the pe the penicillin uh, the penicillin was like hot so they said that um, in about four hours, they may give it to me again. They're giving me that because this week I would have, Thursday, um, I would have been, which is tomorrow, December the 3rd, I would have been um, getting my strep B test. Um, and because I didn't make it, they had to do it tonight. So because they haven't gotten the results back, they're just going ahead and giving me penicillin now. And they said that um, I may not need it in four hours. Did the COVID test. Um, they said that it takes an hour for them to get the results. I'm not even worried about that or the strep B. <sighs> but yeah. At first the lady was like, oh, maybe it was discharged is what she was telling my husband when I was in the bathroom after they had um, did the exam to see if it was uh, amniotic fluid or not and I'm like I know that that was not um, <laughs> I knew that wasn't discharge because literally I had just peed wiped washed my hands literally I was drying my hands and then something started falling out and I was like something is leaking but after I took my bath I felt like I was leaking a little bit then, but I was just like, um, I thought that might be discharged. Even though I didn't like see anything, it just was like leaky. But after using the bathroom, like it leaked on the floor. Um, so it was like droplets on the floor. Um, so mine wasn't like a gush. It was more so like a trickle. And then it started running down my leg. And so, um, it ended up drying and it was like white when it dried. I was like, that's not discharge. So when I heard her say that to my husband that it could have been discharged, I'm like, no, that's definitely not discharge. Um, my discharge is never like that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so they came back in with the gown in hand <laughs> and, um, like the hospital undies, and a big pad and was like yeah we're gonna need you change and i'm like yeah i'm sure because i already knew that it was my water that had um started leaking out so yeah 
got admitted literally like 20 minutes 20 20 minutes after getting here um the nurse at first thought it was going to be like an hour but it wasn't so it was pretty quick as far as getting admitted um so yeah i will come back at y'all i guess when my husband gets here because um he's with the kids right now um they're gonna go back and be with a neighbor in a couple of hours excuse me and then we'll be rolling me back to the or for this c-section so y'all stay tuned for his thoughts um the doctor did say she's gonna guess that the baby is about seven pounds of course she's still head down um as she has been since like 32 weeks <laughs> or a little bit before 32 weeks so so youtube the hubby's getting all prepped because we're about to roll out here in a few minutes and now it's 8 33 a.m here in alaska what are your thoughts husband let's get it going <laughs> you said that's so dry let's get it going are you ready to see your daughter Yes, I am. You sound so dry. What? You do. You sound so dry. Huh? You sound so dry. Yes, I am. <laughs> been waiting a long time. You've been waiting a long time. It's finally here. Well, guys, the reason why he says he's been waiting a long time, he always wanted a girl. Then he thought we wouldn't have any girls. So he got used to the idea of boys. So when we got pregnant with Miss Evelyn, he was excited. So dreams coming true over here for Mr. Tony. Oh God. Anything else you gotta say to the people? No. Really? Oh my gosh. You're terrible. Time to get some sleep. Oh my gosh, he's like being a little dry because he hasn't had any sleep yet. Even though I haven't either. I'm pretty sure he's gotten more of a cat nap than I have though. So. He'll be alright. We got the bags over there. So. I didn't get to do my, um, I didn't get to do my, uh, what is it called? Where you go over what's in your bag, what's in your diaper bag, I mean, your hospital bag. I didn't get to do that video, guys, because we didn't make it to right at 36 weeks, so it's fine. We were talking about doing it, but we would come back at y'all here soon. Here, you can get back in, babe. I'm um, well, we will come back at y'all soon um, once Miss Evelyn is here because, yeah, I just finished signing the paperwork for anesthesia and so they went to go prep and, yeah, so the next time y'all see me, the bump will be gone. Well, it's not going to be gone, but it'll be smaller than what it is now. And um, Miss Evelyn should be hopefully in my arms and I get to hold her because we're trying for skin to skin and everything like that. So they already have down that um, I plan to breastfeed. Um, they're going to try for skin to skin as long as everything's good. Give her the, I don't know what that first one is. They're going to give them, give her the vitamin K and the hepatitis B vaccine and the other thing that they give. I don't, I can't read it from here. So, after all of that, we should be good to go. Um, I already had my steroid shot. So, um, to help with her lungs and everything like that. So, yeah. We should have baby next time. You ready, Big Daddy? Ready. Alright. Alright, we'll be back at y'all. <laughs>